Hello again. As you can see, I am still here on my pen. The last video I did, I drew a pen using the pen tool. It was kind of a fun little instruction. I showed all the different features and showed how you can individually adjust certain points in your tool. But now I want to take it one more step. Since we have a pen here, we need to be able to actually create a full blown pen. And one of the easiest ways to do that, and what this video is going to be about today, is actually using the Pathfinder tool. If you look at the Pathfinder tool, what I'm actually going to do is a pen is a cylinder. So really it's just one long rectangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab right here at this point. I'm going to reach over to this side and right here about this point. I can look up at my ruler tool up at the top there and I can see where my, my line is. I'm just going to get a really close estimate. It doesn't have to be perfect. And again, we're going to use the pen tool. We're going to add a couple little anchor points in here. I can hit command Y if I want and kind of look at it a little closer. What I want to do is figure out what the middle point is of this and I can see a little anchor point down there in the middle right here. That's the center point. You can double check that and see that you're Rule, I just what I did is I clicked right here in the ruler tool and I drug that out right to the very center. So now that I had that, it's going to give me a little bit of a gauge. So again, using the pen tool, now that you're familiar with that, I'm going to put an anchor point right here. I'm going to put an anchor point right around here. So let me see here. Don't want to do that. Okay, so let me get this ruler tool out of the way. Now that I know where my middle point is, I'm going to click this. Oh, we know that's the middle spot. Okay, and then what I'm going to do now. So I'm actually going to do something kind of extreme. I'm going to grab my direct selection tool and I'm going to bring in this right here, this left anchor point. And I'm going to just use my arrow tool. And I'm just going to click and drag it in. And I'm going to click. You can do a little small one at a time or I can go shift and bring it in about 10 at a time. I'm going to leave that right around there. Same thing over here. I'm going to use my direct selection tool. Click, hold down shift. I'm going to left arrow in. But how do I get the effect? Of actually having this be arced around the pen. Right now, if you look at the paths, these two are crossing each other, so it's not really working like I want it to. So, what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna use the Pathfinder tool. So, the Pathfinder tool is a pretty straightforward tool. You're gonna have your layer on top of here. I'm gonna make sure that these two are lined up perfectly. There we go. And I can actually bring this down even further if I want. Make sure it's perfectly lined up. I got a good, good layout here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hit my V and go back to my regular selection tool. And then I'm actually going to click and drag on both of these layers and select both of them. You can see I have both of them selected. And now what I want to do is I'm actually going to, I want to move this down a little bit. Whoops. I need to grab that little circle there. I'm going to move these down so it can fit as much of it as I can inside the canvas. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold down alt or option and I'm actually going to click and drag and make a duplicate of this. And you'll see why in just a minute. So once I click and drag both of these, I have them both selected again. This tool right here, and if you need to drag out your tools until you get familiar with them, is your Pathfinder tool. Pathfinder tool is awesome. There's some different options in here. Uh, you have your Unite tool, and if you look at the paths, you can see this line here and this line here. If I actually hit this tool, it's going to combine them into one. You can see here it's one solid object. That actually could be helpful for me if I'm going to make a shadow. Then I'm going to grab another one. I'm going to hold Alt Option. I'm going to click and drag and make another version. The one that I'm looking for today, minus back. There it was, minus back. That is the main tool. And if we take that other layer that we merged into one, you can see I can put this kind of off to the side here. Transparency, a five, and then move this a little bit under here. And you're going to see a nice little shadow behind the underneath the whole entire design. Now the next thing is, I want to create kind of an ending tip. Now making this all into one object, there's a number of ways to do this. I want to show you today how to do this with the Pathfinder tool. So I'm going to click all three of these objects, right? And then I'm actually, and I don't remember, I don't have the circle select. So I'm going to select all three of these objects that are black. You can see here it's still black. It didn't change colors or it's not gray. I'm going to go back to my Pathfinder tool and I'm actually going to use that first tool that we saw, Unite. Now, uh-oh, what happened to my circle? The thing is, is that circle is on a different layer. And what you did is since you united everything together, you actually put this above the circle layer. So if you hit Command or Control and you hit the, the little character next to your P on the right hand side, it's like a bracket. You're going to hit that one in a couple times to the left on the left side and boom, you're just going to drop it down a couple layers. 
Now, if I want to take this circle and make this a permanent part of the pin tip, we still have to create what's called a compound path. To create a compound path, you're going to hit Command or Control and hit 8. And now that's a compound path. So when I go to select this, and I go to select the whole pen, and I hit minus front, it's going to remove it. And now you can see I have a very, very clean design. And let me just move this out of the way, the shadow there. You can see my design is very, very clean, very simple. Those are the paths. You can see that here. And I could even take other layers like I have on this side here. This one, I have let's see, a few of them. So you can see here how I did that before, how I removed this, and we did, uh, which one was it? I think it was, nope, it was minus this one. Here we go. How we did this, I can actually take this now, hold Alt or Option, bring this out. I'm actually going to expand this just a little bit in the width. So instead of, let me unlink these, I'm gonna go 3.5, just brought it out just a tiny bit, right? Then I'm gonna hold these two layers, I'm gonna select them both, and I'm gonna use the minus front again. Boom, and check this out. Now I can take this little object right here. I can drop it right in there, whoops. Boom, and I can actually put some gradient in here. I can put some color or some gradient. Let's see, move it up a layer, there we go. And you can see now, this thing is starting to look more and more realistic. I can add a lot of detail to this thing to make it look realistic. So this is really a helpful tool using the Pathfinder tool. Uh, I use it quite a bit. And from here, we will start to work on uh, shading next. So I wanna show you how to shade this stuff, how you can kind of go around and use your pen tool that you've learned. Hopefully you can get some practice on this. Let's see here, I'm gonna go here. I'm actually gonna bring this over this way. shadow so if we take this shadow right and we want to add some depth I'm going to change this to this side to a really dark color flip this if you want so you can hit this and it'll invert it and then I can do the same thing over here I can copy it because it's going to be the same on both sides I can hit alt or option and duplicate it and then I'm going to hit control and right click which is going to help you is your right click basically and transform I'm going to hit reflect I'm going to go to vertical Boom, now it's reflecting the other direction. I hold down shift, I just drag it to the left. Boom, you can see here I've kind of created my own little design. I can actually move this inward a little bit more and move it back. There we go, and make, an, make adjustments. And you can see here our pen is really starting to take shape in just a few minutes. And then the same thing here, I can add some custom shading using the pen tool, or I can actually just go in and uh, use what's called a gradient mesh, it's a mesh tool. Let's just say I have this pen here and I wanna give it some realistic depth and dimension. I need it to be round. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click here, I'm gonna select this mesh tool. You'll see it has a little meshy kind of look to it inside the icon. Yours may look a little different, but it's gonna be right around here. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna select, I'm gonna do it right here, and I'm gonna do it right here. See a little arrow, a little plus sign, and I can zoom in if I want to get a little closer. I'm actually gonna put mine right here. You can see here, now I've created two little lines. And you can see here, I've added some pretty good color. Now, the way you actually edit and change a mesh tool, if you only have a couple, you're not gonna have that much control, but you're gonna zoom in. You're gonna use your direct selection tool, and you're gonna click, and click that, and you're gonna hold Shift. Hold down Shift, click the next one. Then you're gonna go down here, same thing. You're gonna hit Shift and you click everything that's white is going to turn to blue. White, you're going to turn it to blue. Same thing here. See these white ones? You're going to turn it to blue and turn it to blue. Now, if I zoom back out here, you can see I'm actually going to go pick the right color that's going to give this thing the real depth because this just kind of looks funny now, doesn't it? Unless you have a pen that is really this light or you're planning on using a pen that's going to be this light, I would darken this up. So we can go like this, which is pretty decent, but I actually want to go a little darker than that. It's a pretty dark pen. So as you can see here, I got this nice pen, it's got a nice angle on it, and I've actually created a gradient mesh. This is the basic principles of using the gradient mesh tool. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Keep looking up.